Welcome to this uh, U Surface Mesh video tutorial. Um, continuing on from the last video uh, about masking, I want to uh, show how you can use the vertex colors that can be painted onto a mesh to generate a texture uh, that can then be reapplied to the uh, to the mesh as a mask texture. So let's start by dragging a U Surface Mesh grid into the uh, level. It's just to uh, cover the, the area that you actually want to, to work on. The uh, complexity doesn't really matter uh, with this one. You just want it uh, high enough that you'll be able to paint vertex colour onto it um, and have sufficient detail rendered out in the texture. And then we'll just capture the height. Like I say, it's just a case of uh, playing with the, uh, the overall dimensions to make sure it covers everything that you want to work on. So once you're happy with that, you can just scroll down to the uh, stamp mesh section. Uh, choose the folder that you want to uh, place the stamped mesh asset into. and then just stamp the mesh. So now what we need to do is apply a uh, material that's inside of the U-Surface Mesh uh, content folder, and that's under uh, Engine, Plugins, U-Surface Mesh Content, and scroll down to the uh, Materials folder, and in here there's a Visualize folder, and then there, there's uh, the vertex colors material. So we just drag that onto the uh, onto the mesh. So that now shows us what vertex colors are painted onto the mesh. So to make it so that we can actually see the mesh a little bit more, we'll just go to the uh, uh, location of the mesh. And on, on the end of the uh, Z axis, we'll just say plus one, just to raise it up a little bit. Um, and then we'll switch to mesh paint choose paint and then we want to paint white into the red channel so we make sure all the others are turned off specify the size we want to paint the strength um, you may want to play with um, Sometimes um, setting it to one uh, can cause it to, to just um, color absolutely everything. So if this happens here where, where there's quite a low number of vertices, this is actually caused by um, nanite. So if we go back to the mesh, locate the static mesh, and just right click and say nanite disable so that now gets it back to bin full um, complexity that we actually set when we stamped the mesh and then now we can return back to mesh paint mode and we'll just fill that with uh, with black and then we can now start painting again so it's up to you to, to decide where you actually want um, want mesh to be but essentially what we're doing here is we're just selecting where the mesh will be once it's been masked so we can change the strength value
And if we hold shift down, we can uh, paint the opposite color. So we, we paint the arrays color of black. So once we're happy with the area that we've selected, we can switch back to um, to the normal select mode here. And what we need to do is we need to drag in a U surface mesh paint actor. And then we select um, the target mesh actor to be the mesh that we've uh, stamped and been working on. And then we come down to um, render pack channel so it's render pack channel texture, turn that on. And if we uh, locate that um, render target, then we can see here that what we aim to do is render these vertex colors out to this texture. So what we need to do here is specify that the packed um, channel texture in its red channel we want to place into that the vertex colors red channel. So you get this pop-up message and what this is saying is that uh, when we're specifying that we want to render the vertex colors we need to enable set vertex colors uh, which is further up so um, for now we'll just um, enable this. So that now says that we'll render the um, red vertex color channel into the packed red channel. So now we need to specify that the vertex red color is preserved. So it takes the colors as they are right now and preserves them for the red channel. And for the green channel blue and alpha, it will just render black to them. You can always preserve them as well. Um, or you can invert them and various other other settings here. Uh, but for this particular example, uh, we'll just preserve and then black for all the others. And so now we just choose render. So that now has rendered out um, those vertex colors to the red channel. And I'm highlighting here that I'm just showing the red channel, which is why it's changed to white. So if we browse to that texture, then we can right click that and say create static texture. So that now generates a, a normal texture instead of a render target. And then what we want to do is switch back to, well, first of all, we'll, we'll just delete the uh, use surface mesh paint because that's no longer needed. So what we need to do now is select the use surface mesh um, grid actor. And as you can see, it's in red at the moment, which means that it's not actually turned on. It's not generating any mesh. So it's got create mesh turned off and preview mesh turned off. So what we're actually seeing here is the stamped static mesh uh, that we created earlier. So all we need to do is delete that. And then reselect the uh, use surface mesh uh, grid actor and just turn that back on again. So what we need to do now is enable remove polygons and then scroll down to um, enable mass texture, turn that on and then place the new texture into the mask texture slot. That now masks uh, the area that we actually want. So we'll also enable use surface normals and then we'll recapture the height And then we can also enable edge height as well. So now we can also um, shift the mesh down by a few centimeters. And if this is the kind of mesh that you're looking for, then you can just go ahead and stamp that now. Uh, alternatively, you can continue um, and use the height noises to actually displace the, uh, the surface.
and you can always change the max height so it makes it come away from the surface more. You can also change the vertical warp which allows it to um, protrude more as it uh, comes up to the top of the mesh. You may find that uh, the mesh actually um, leaves the, sur the surface and this is because um, the mesh is actually a lot bigger than this. Um, as, as you uh, already know, this is a masked area. So the, me the mesh still thinks that it's, um, it's over here. But what we can do is we can uh, flatten that down using edge flatten. Uh, if it is too aggressive, then you can always go down to the edge um, section, change the edge range. It's just a case of playing with the the height and also the um, the contrast on the two noise textures. So we also want to make sure that it has enough complexity. And if the mesh uh, does disappear, then we can just turn off uh, create mesh and just turn it back on again. So I'll reapply this mud texture. And then we can uh, set the vertex colors to, uh, in the red channel, we can paint the surface angle. We'll just choose render so that now we'll get the, the virtual texture displayed on, on top of the mesh. And then once we're happy with that, we can just stamp that into the same folder. So thank you for joining me for this um, video tutorial. If you did like it, then please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.